Hello, hello everybody. Happy Friday and the weekend. So I just want to um, show you my journal. It's almost done. I just have to sew or I want to sew some beads on the tassel. And so I'm going to quickly do a flip through and hopefully I get through it all um, without losing internet and dogs barking and you know the deal. So this little... This little guy will go with the journal. And this is what I've come up with for the cover. In the back is just the little golden book. So I had a couple challenges with this journal. I always do the closure at the very end and that's because I want to customize it uh, um, to the journal and I put all these tabs on it so to get a straight line for a closure or even a wraparound sari silk closure was next to impossible without ruining these little guys so this is what I come up with so it's just an eyelet and this is stretchy it's elastic and I just sewed some buttons on and so you can either put it there as a knot there or you can wrap it around so it actually worked out pretty good now the same with the tassel I always wait to the last and as you can see my books my signatures are flush with my cover and so getting a clip or anything in there was next to impossible so once again I did the button trick and I bent the, the middle signature as easy as I could to sew it on there and so basically it has a knot or you could just wrap it around and then it just comes off And I will put beads on this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The colors, the sari silk. All right, let's get into it. Let's see here. So there's two little pockets. And some little charms on the button and I seen a friend keep the little golden book spine so I thought that'd be neat to keep it and I've watched so many videos and I've got so many tips from everybody it's just unreal so the basically why I put these tabs in so a person could read the book and every page is a tab. So you can read the book from front to back. So this little guy here is a, is a tuck spot. There's all kinds of paper, ledger paper. This is avocado dried, dyed, music paper and this is under vellum it's a little girl with a bunny And that's information about the sari silk. And 
and a little tuck there. And I just love how this turned out. So that's some sorry silk and some fabric and then this, I don't know if it's wool. It's very pretty. And there's the tab. There's two little trimline spots there. Little tag there. There's stamp, there's sewing. The little Tim Holtz clips that each little one I don't know if you can see it they're really small little bean dangles and oh I forgot about that little guy Postcard. This is this was fun to make. And then at the bottom is a little and this little tag here. And the little beads, little bookmark. This is a little pocket. Some old paper. Actually, it's a print off of old paper. And then there's something in the envelope. Course of journaling cards. A little booklet. A little charm that says, follow your heart. He's so cute. That says the Velveteen Rabbit and it has the sorry silk. And that one's sewed on, I believe. And then these little tucks.
and mostly everything is distressed of course with Tim Holtz distress ink and I love how this paper turned out the avocado dyed I think it's information, maybe the front of the book. And this is just a little talk. And some journaling cards and some more journaling cards. Miracles do happen. This is a little booklet. And then the middle, I just love this. This is printed on vellum. The bunnies. And believe. There's a little bunny. There's some paper. That one's, I think that's coffee dyed paper and a little envelope with a, more tags inside. I think that's rice paper. And some paper. And I just love how this turned out. So this is actually an old button and it has metal all the way around the plastic button. And then it has like engravings. Can't really see it, but it's beautiful. Some ledger paper. And so when I was cutting off the edges of the tassel, I had this handful of beautiful textured cutoffs. And so I just glued it on here. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys can see the colors. This is a tag that comes off. And now we're into the last signature. And then a journaling card. And I believe this is tracing paper, and then I think I dyed it with avocados. This is one of my favorite pages. Oh, it's, this here stuff is so soft. And there's some stamping. There's actually a little bug peeking out of that. from a rabbit, another little journal tag, there's a little. So 
that there's lots of there's lots of writing space. And this is an old um, plate by the European hair. And I wasn't going to include him, and then I, I cut him out, and I had to include him. This little empty tag, and this here is um, dyed. I can't remember what it's called. And the same as this, and that's all fuzzy. Oh. I put him in last night. So cute. And then we got the middle of the, the pages, the signatures. And an avocado dyed tag, which goes perfectly. journaling tag and then of course we're getting to the end of the, the story and this is when the velveteen rabbit realizes that his legs move and that comes off and I just love I just love this tag so it's removable and we've got some really soft material. And So there's three signatures in this journal and I believe that there's at least 13 pages in each one. This. this is a CD holder case and I stamped it and so of course we're at the end of the book and he's a real he's a real rabbit now and I just I just love it and then I just got done putting a pocket in there And that's it. And that's all she wrote. It took me quite a bit of time doing it because I only have so much time. And I probably, there's some, some marks are fading. And I probably will put some clear coat on it to, to stop it. But it's going to be available in my Etsy shop. And um, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I hope you like the video and get lots of inspiration. Um, I'm going to take a break from doing little golden books just because they're, they take me so long. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try something 
a little bit different. Um, my friend down the road, she made me this cute little little album. It's it's awesome, and so um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to make that, but something similar, so I can gift it back to her. So I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope you like the video, and happy crafting.